We're here at the Cape Blanco Lighthouse just north of Port Orford, Oregon on the southern Oregon coast. This lighthouse was constructed in 1870 and it has survived winter storms for over 140 years. Lighthouse keepers aren't needed anymore, but two of the most notable keepers here at Cape Blanco were James Langlois and James Hughes. James Langlois served as lighthouse keeper here for over 42 years. The nearby town of Langlois on Highway 101 was named after him. James Hughes, who was the son of a large dairy farmer, Patrick Hughes, served here for 38 years. The house that uh, Patrick Hughes built for his family just a short distance from this lighthouse still stands and is open for tours. It's an East Lake style Victorian house with Victorian period furnishings. If you have time, be sure to visit the Hughes house which is located about one and a half miles northeast of this location. You'll see the turnoff as you drive back to Highway 101. If you like to shop, take a look at the Lighthouse gift shop. They have some really neat books, warm clothing, multimedia material, and souvenirs of your visit. I really enjoyed the Lighthouse tour and presentation by State Park volunteers. These hosts are knowledgeable of Lighthouse history and the technical aspects of the Lighthouse operation. If you look at an Oregon map, you'll see that this point is the most westerly point on the Oregon coast. As we rise above the lighthouse, you'll see the offshore reef that was dangerous for commercial shipping and really necessitated the construction of a lighthouse at this location. Now we'll go inside to give you an idea of what you will experience on the tour as you learn about the different fuels that were used over the years, the lighthouse keeper duties, and the Fresnel lens that focuses a beam of light up to 26 miles to the horizon. So come visit the Cape Blanco Lighthouse. It's open Wednesday through Monday from 10 until 3.30. Here are the directions, and thanks for watching. <laughs>